Hello again, YouTube! This is Dr. Kendo, and welcome to another Scribblenauts Unlimited Object Editor Creation episode. That's the name of this game, Scribblenauts Unlimited, and the Object Editor is a feature for the Wii U and PC versions of this game only, so that's not available on mobile. Anyway, I create whatever is most popular and most requested for the objects or characters each week, and it's based off of your votes in the comments section, but I just needed a bit more time this week for uh, this week's item, so I have this episode instead. You know, I could just not do an episode, but I would rather give you guys something to watch as I take the time to make the real most popular and most requested objects special. So basically what I'm saying is next week, the objects that I create are numerous and they will be kind of special. People have been asking for it for uh, quite a while now and it's finally time. But okay, today's little interim episode, however, is all about a character from an incredible game I saw and played at PAX East. Of course, PAX East was just about two weekends ago. But I've been scrambling to just get a ton of work done for it and for everything else in my insane life. So yes, here we have a Scribblenauts creation version of the pilot character from a game called Moonshot. That's what we'll be creating. And yes, Moonshot is just one of the many games that I got to enjoy at PAX East back while I was in Boston with the Task Force 5. Here in Scribblenauts, you probably saw that we used Jason Wilson as the source object and just removed the head and the arms right there. We've shrunken down the legs to be pretty tiny because basically Basically, if you haven't ever heard my rationale for doing this, Scribblenauts Unlimited has actually a number of limitations and or semi-glitches and bugs here and there that you do have to work with. One of them is that when you remove the original legs from your source object's character, your creation will always sink into the ground pretty low. So we'll be covering up those tiny little source legs in a little bit, but you probably saw we just typed in Bubbles a little while ago, that's one of Maxwell's many brothers, and we took the arms from Bubbles from both sides and painted them with this shade of blue there and white gloves, and now to serve as the top part of the legs, here on our Moonshot pilot, I've typed in chalk, and of course used the riding chalk category, and uh, then we'll continue this design of the pilot's legs by now using a boot, and painting that white, and then we're gonna type in octopus, and use this mostly straight, kind of upper tentacle piece, with the slight bend at the end, and that will serve as the big blue bottom part of the pilot's space shoes. Now we'll type in octopus again, and to our right is a really wide open almost v-shaped tentacle piece that we're going to use and it will be put above the boots on the chalk here for some of the design on his legs then you'll want to copy those leg tentacle pieces from the octopus that we just put down there and paint them blue and that will serve as the beginnings of this strap kind of across the pilot's chest and then we'll type in jewel and paint it basically bleach white point is when it's that bright of white it won't really show the details or the lines in the jewel and just make it sort of of look like a little carton or box shape here across the pilot's chest region and that's what we want. Then we'll copy the octopus tentacle from the bottom of the boots and make that be the straps end across his chest coming out the other side of the jewel stamp and now I'm going to try to use this tube as the stamp for the next piece but there's probably so many stamps that you could use to replicate this or get kind of some semblance of it but the moonshot pilot has this large pack on his back I suppose that's part of the oxygen astronaut gear but we'll paint one tube blue and the next one will be white for the inner parts of it and this next part is great because I might have mentioned before how I'll often see any character in anything in life and I can immediately start envisioning certain stamps that could be used to make it in scribble knots it's practically become a mental illness of mine and that I just I can't go to a movie or see a new video game trailer or character without going through scribble stamps in my brain for creating it so my point in saying that is that I didn't have to think very long before I said ah for the pilot's helmets, I could totally just use a pearl in Scribble Knots and then go to the third page of the color pattern library and use that bottom right corner yellowish orange color pattern. And so that's what we've done for that part now. And of course, place it where the head grid is or where the head should go. And then copy that almost straight longer octopus tentacle piece and paint it white to make it basically be where the helmet connects to the torso parts of the suit around the neck. You'll probably want to put this octopus piece on the head grid space as well so it follows whatever movement the head does and after all that we'll go into the 29 page library of shapes and on the 10th page we'll take the green mutant arm near the bottom and that will be this white strap along the arm or bicep of the moonshot pilot and as we're finally nearing the last few pieces for our creation we'll type in an archaeopteryx and take either of the feet parts paint them a darker bluish purple color and make that be this kind of emblem or display there on the pilot's suit and I ended off with the letter 
letter I to be colored blue and just show that the pilot's right side to our left is not all just white on the suit. It does have some blue showing up on that side as well. But anyway, we're going to be doing some simple scripting here, so I just wanted to talk about Moonshot a little bit while we're doing that. Of course, many of you who follow me close enough will know that I streamed this game, doing some giveaways to whoever was there with me at the Twitch stream, where I gave away codes for the Moonshot game, and we all then proceeded to blast each other into oblivion. It was great fun, and it was a new kind of fun compared to playing it in local multiplayer with people at PAX East. I did win the PAX East matches, but during the stream, we certainly all found out more kind of advanced tactics, and uh, the matches were not so easy that time. But all in all, fun times were had, and anyway, the game is a physics-based tank kind of death game, where the goal is to get the most points by the end of the time limit by blasting other players. I think of the gameplay and physics as unique to this game, but perhaps a little bit similar to Angry Birds, or more so to the Worms series of games. But again, this isn't a clone or replica of those games in any any significant ways, and it's certainly worth everyone checking out, for sure. I've got a link in the description to the DKC Gaming article preview that I wrote about it, and a link to the Steam store page where you can get Moonshot pretty cheap for yourself. By the way, for any newcomers to this series, or just those of you who haven't checked it out yet, DKCGaming.com is my video game and anime news site that I do with three other writers. We give you the news in an entertaining way and or in a very real talk kind of manner. I would really, really appreciate you guys taking a look over there, and it's also a way you can sometimes see more code giveaways or just find out the latest hidden gems of games that you should be playing, like Moonshot. So, on screen, of course, you now have seen all the other Moonshot pilot colors, as this game can support four players, where you'll play as either the blue, red, yellow, or green pilot. And alrighty, I suppose before I'll go, I'll just mention one last time that next week will be the popular request from this week, and will hopefully be a special set of characters that some of you may have been waiting for over a decent period of time lately, and so I really hope that you enjoy it, and thanks for bearing with me as I kind of catch up on all my work, so I will catch you over there on that special episode next Sunday, and thanks for viewing. And sit down the road up twists and turns, always anxious to see.